We are going to talk NFL Thanksgiving Day. Gobble, gobble day. Buffalo minus nine at Detroit. Over, under is 54. Hoo-wee. Um, We got a new sp- uh, Caesar Sportsbook promo for us here on the Power Hour. Up to $1,250 risk-free on your first bet. All you got to do is use the promo code MORNINGFUL. That'll that'll get you right there. Save Get you into $1,250. Te- use the link in the description of the video. You click on it. Boom, bang, pow, get your right signed up. Thanksgiving promo. $150 off month pass. $50 off the week pass. Any two experts you want. You pick them. Bang, boom, pow. Get after it. Get after it while you can. Get it right. You want me to handle this one for you? Huh? You want me to handle this one? No, no. Uh, uh, the Buffalo Bills will win this one by about 40. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, for this game. Tim Earl, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no. I will say for this game, I looked at him like, eh, I'm not really sure about this one because you get Detroit. They're at home. But, I mean, actually, for the first time since 2019, we had a home team with an over 500 record in Detroit. So, uh, and that was last week when the Buffalo Bills played there. But that's not the point. Uh, now, I looked at this game. I think the spread's about right. Uh, I know Nick has his little philosophy on totals that are over 50 that go under. So I kind of just, I didn't really have a side that I loved or a total that I absolutely loved in this game. So it was a Detroit game. So you know what I got to do, right? I got to take the Detroit Lenny method. I'm going with a teaser in this one. We're going to go ahead and tease the game under, and we're going to tease the Lions up to over two touchdowns. I do not perceive this one being a blowout, not on Thanksgiving. Um, I could see this one also going under the 60 and a half. The totals normally, whenever they're 50 or higher, I think it's hitting at like 57, 58% or something that they go under the total. I think this one, I'm not sure how entirely the score is going to end up, but I'm going to go under and Lions plus the 15 as a little bit of a teaser for Thanksgiving. Two, two things, uh, two points I want to make about this. I love this play, by by the way. I mean, you're going to give me two touchdowns. I'm going to take them all day. Yep. Um, at home, everything at that Thanksgiving, blah, 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 all that. One, Jamison Williams, their dra- high draft pick, wide receiver pick, should play in this game. He practiced fully today or cool. is practicing fully today. He's been out all year. So it's the first time we'll see him. Could be a surprise factor. It's our first deep threat. Uh, yep. the, our concern is can Jared Goff throw the ball that far? It's because this yeah. guy's fast. Tyreek Hill speed fast. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's one. Uh, two, Lions three game win streak against teams above 500. Everything like that coming into this game, it's just a oh, god. I'm waiting as a Lions fan. I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. Um, yep. Buffalo could very well get after him. I think Buffalo probably wins this game by a touchdown. I don't know if they cover the straight up. Maybe mm-hmm. ten. That nine and a half, it's about price right. Um, but the Lions defense has been playing well the last couple of weeks. So give me the under. Um, I'll take that. I, I like that, Tim Merle. Tim Merle, you did good. You did good, kid. You did good. Uh, <laughs> like, you, subscribe, man. ring the bell for notifications. Power Hour is brought to you Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern. As always, Tim Merle, it's a pleasure, my friend. And I appreciate you on the Power Hour. We'll see you on the next time. Take care. See you.